Tonight's special broadcast is dedicated to KCI's graduates. Congratulations, graduates. It took four long years of listening to Mr. Stone's corny jokes, Ms. Nalawani's long tests, and Ms. Dilworth's crazy long essays. Job well done. To those who donated this year's blood drive, you guys have helped save over 150 lives in the community. You are an inspiration to us all. Speaking of inspiration, let's go to Riley with Who Inspires. All right, Riley Heber here with Lula Ali, and I'm gonna ask her who she's most inspired by. I would say that Steve Salvaggio. All right, thank you. Do you have any specific reasons why? Uh, no, he just motivates me every day to be a better person and like to be a leader. Uh, the person who inspires me the most is my mom. My sister. Because? Because she's very successful and has really good grades. Uh, my brother. I'm most inspired by Mr. Alfano because he motivates me to be a better version of myself every day. I'm most inspired by Madame Machetere. She helped me want to travel and I think it's a great thing. I'm most inspired by Mr. Canty because he encourages everyone to do their best. I'm most inspired by my mom because she's always on to me when like when I'm doing my work and like even when I'm down or anything, she's always there for me and like pushes me to like like for like success. I'm most inspired by my mom because she works a lot, but she still finds time to support me and my sister. My mom inspires me the most because, as most of you know, she's been fighting a huge battle for the last few years. And it really inspires me that if she can keep going through that, then I can definitely keep going through my day-to-day -day life. Uh, who inspires me the most is Mr. McDougall. He inspires me the most because he constantly pushes everyone and he wants the best for the students. And that's why he does everything he can to make Kennedy a better place. Thank you, Riley. That was really inspirational. These guys are really inspirational. version of the Stump a Clipper. I'm here with Jacob, Hannah, Fidel, Joshua Quinn, Zainab, Jabril, Adriana, and let's see how much they've learned here at Kennedy. How do you spell our librarian's last name? I know his name. Maybe. <laughs> K-N-I-T-I-E. I know his, uh, his name is Nighty, but I think it starts with an H, ends with an I, and yeah. <laughs> K N I G H T Y H N E I D I Um N I G H T Y I don't know. I don't even know his name. Do you know what this is? I do not. Is it like a like a CD order? Is there like a CD holder thing? Floppy disk? Nope. <laughs> no idea. No. A CD cover thingy? Floppy disk? No. When was Kennedy built? Um, 1909? 1929? 19... Like, oh wait. 1929? 
you know what it stands for? I do not. Uh, ETS is it? Um, do you know what those stand for? Uh, probably like elite training. I'm not sure. What's the first line of the school song? Mary Lee, we sing with the Kennedy, our own. I have no idea. Uh, Mary Lee, we sing at the Kennedy Arrow. Uh, thank you for coming. Senior boys basketball. This year, our Clippers finished the regular season with a 32 and 8 record, going on to win the Austin Provincial Championship. Congratulations, boys! It was a job well done. Now let's go to Sergio, who has been promoted from weatherman to news reporter. Let's see everybody's favorite moment at KCI was. Muchas gracias, Austin. Yo soy aquí con mi amigo Harris. Sergio, Sergio. Wrong, wrong station, bro. Wrong station. Sorry. Uh, hey, everyone. Thank you, Austin. Uh, I'm with my friend Harris. Uh, Harris, I have a question for you. What was your memorable part of uh, high school? I think the most memorable part for me would probably be the plays. Uh, all the late night rehearsals, spending time with all these people, making new friends, and to put on a big performance at the end, and to end off with a bang by playing Charlie Brown. It was, it was really humbling, and I think it's like a part of me that will stay with me forever. And um, it's like what's going to make me miss this school when I leave. I'd have to say, you know, being able to learn musical instruments. I always had, in grade school, I was never able to play. And then grade nine, that was my time, you know, shine. Yeah, Guitar, piano, you know, trumpet, drums, everything. Yeah, bro. Probably meeting my best friend, Hannah Perry. Uh, graduating and leaving this place. Uh, my friends. My favorite part? I'd say knowing that it's not about my grades and more about the friends we made along the way. Um, probably the relay for life. Football season. Hell yeah. <laughs> uh, having a spare. My favorite part of high school was probably the Quebec trip in grade 9. Uh, making offset in grade 9 travel. My favorite part of high school was probably going to offset. I've worked so hard for three years and I'm really excited. So, that's my favorite part of high school. I'd say my favorite part of high school was, uh, Getting to meet so many different people and just enjoy the experience, but also working towards getting um, as high grades as I possibly could and then getting accepted into the University of Toronto. Uh, my favorite part of high school was winning AFSA and meeting IAN. Uh, I have a couple. The first one being the physics trip, the second one being attending Dr. Presley's calculus class every day, and the third, meeting G. Yeah. My favorite part of high school is going to Jackson Park with Miss Sammy's class, taking photos, and just having fun with my friends. Um, the grade 9 trip to Niagara Falls. Sergio, what was your favorite part of high school? Oh, well, Sergio, my favorite part of high school is watching you in the Fabulous Five. Thanks, bud. Relay for Life, first year running at KCI, raised over $7,000 to give back to the community. That's very impressive, guys. Since all of us this year were out at prom, we had a couple six-year-old interns, Gwen and Olivia, cover for us. What's your favorite thing that be about prom? Probably the dinner. All right, uh, my favorite thing about prom, probably about the dancing, is the awards. Definitely hosting the award show with Lula. My favorite part, part of prom is probably going to be the, uh, the dancing. The food! Um, probably just having fun with everybody and just hanging out with them. The food, because I haven't eaten all day. <laughs> the music! The after party! My favorite thing was doing my makeup! I don't mean to be vain, but it's all the attention. <laughs> Taking the pictures with friends. Uh, uh, just, uh, with my guy Zach over here. <laughs> my favorite thing about prom is the dresses. My favorite thing about prom is I want to know who's going to win uh, prom. Tour. You can't get. Um, I think my favorite part about prom is going to be spending time with my best friend before she goes back to BC for the summer. And just like, you know, kind of living my life tonight. The food! <laughs> Uh, my favorite thing about prom is probably being interviewed by you, if I can be honest. Uh, it's been a long journey, four years to be precise. Uh, you know, blood, sweat, tears, a lot of exams. Don't worry, you'll get there one day. 
Yo, Corey, you know where I can get a gift tag? I tried the KCI black market. Nah, no, I've heard of it, but I'm kind of scared to go. You should go there. You got this baby there. That's kind of old. Oh, right now? Oh, okay. <sighs> to test out our black market, here's Riley to see what's good. Riley Eber here, and we're looking for some graduation gifts from Jeffrey on the Kennedy black market. So what do you got for me today? I got Mr. Stone's one-of-a-kind handleless mug for $50. See that? Sure it's one-of-a-kind. Be ashamed if someone were to drop that, eh? Uh, no, I can't. I gotta say no to that. That's too special, man. All right, Jeffrey, what else do you got for me? Wanna be Phantom Miss Durfee? Because I got a Phantom Miss Durfee. It's an antique, $100. Uh, I don't know. He has a face on everything? Yeah. It's a good price. Another one of a kind. Just too much for me, man. It's too much. All right, Jeffrey, that fan is pretty expensive. What else do you got for me, man? Heard you like collecting Crocs. Well, I got a pair of Miss Simon's Crocs. $30. Man, that's a good deal. I think I hear the cops. It's uh, Sergio here. Uh, I interviewed some of the teachers uh, to say something about the graduates. Congratulations, Crocs! We the North! Congratulations, Crocs! Congratulations, graduates, and if you want to know how to spell my name, which most people pronounce Nighty, my wife pronounced Hnighty, so I'll tell you that there is a H at the beginning, and it's really pronounced Hnighty, which no one can say, so it's H-N-I-D, and the last part, it's I before E, except in me, so it's E. Uh, congratulations. Congratulations, grads! Congratulations, grads! You did it. Four years, fantastic. A mes petites étoiles, je vous manquerai. Bonne chance. Congrats, everyone. Congratulations, Kennedy. Grad 2019, we wish you all the very best. Felicitations, felicidades. From your attendant secretary, Mrs. Lalic. First of all, I'd like to congratulate the class of 2019. You did it. I'm so proud of each and every one of you. Know that you all have a special place in my heart. I will truly miss you all and wish you nothing but the absolute best in your new endeavors. This will be my final message to you. Of course, Always be on time. Respect your professors and be true to yourselves. Once again, grads, congratulations. Never give up and do not forget to visit. Cheers. Congratulations, grade 12. Uh, good luck for the new journey. I want to wish you all the best from all of your teachers and all the best in the future. I wish you all the best for your learn and all the best in the future. I would like to congratulate all great falls for graduation. You will be the best for the year. Congrats! Go and explore your world. The truth is out there, not on it. To the grade 12 graduating class, Mabruk, we wish you all the best and good luck next year. Congratulations everyone, uh, I just want to let you know that you guys aren't done all of your work yet. You guys have a lot more to get done. I'm just playing, y'all did it. Congratulations 2019, let's go! Congratulations to all graduating students on their final year. Best of luck in the future. Čestitam svim naučenjacima na završnoj godini i sredno u buduće. Hello graduates, have I ever told you the story about this coffee cup? Ah, oh, never mind, you couldn't handle it. Congratulations class of 2019. Congratulations graduates. Chi mana win dogsy win, good job Hi. Hi. Congratulations graduates. We protected you for four years. That's four long years, eh, Missy? Absolutely. Yeah, we've seen a lot. So since we protected you for four years, we thought we'd give you some safety tips for your future. Ready, Missy? Sure, go ahead. All right. While on a ladder, don't step back and admire your work. Grads, I want you to protect your hands. I don't want you to be like me. Pencils have erasers. Mishaps don't. It's as simple as ABC. Always be careful. 
Congratulations, grads! Do your work with pride, safety in every stride. Hello, graduates. Mr. Kanki here, just wishing you all the very best in your future endeavors. I, like you, are moving on, and we're Clippers for life. God bless. This year was a great year. From a terrible last season of Game of Thrones to the Toronto Raptors making history and KCI having their prom, beach day, and kook, plus many more other events that occurred during this year. To you graduates, it's been a long haul, but you've finally done it. You are here. You are graduating. I'm proud of you all, and you all will forever be Kennedy Clippers no matter where you go. With my final sign-off, I'd like to say, stay fabulous, folks.